Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I'm doing the entirety of spring for year two. As you know how it is, it's going to be the grind and everything after this. Uh, so I'm getting everything upgraded to Iridium slowly but surely. There's my whole crop field for day one all planted. On to day two, I, I believe uh, this is the last thing. I need, yep, I'm I'm checking around. I'm going to donate that trouble and be officially done with all this. Misclick. Whoopsie. And now we're done. Hallelujah. The last bend bundle. Farewell. Gee. Get this whole cutscene. Goodbye. Bye. The Junimos are returned, and I got level 10 on foraging. <clears throat> I chose the botanist because, of course. Now, there's going to be a lot of skipping around, so don't be surprised. And I got a sense that a new way has opened, meaning I'm level 10 in everything. So I can get mastery points now, which is pretty good. <clears throat> this is just a note that I knew, just noticed. Just reading the note. Just real quick. Now, in actual recording stuff, this took me about three weeks to edit. So I am thinking I'm going to only be posting once a month for the Stardew now. Hopefully I'll be getting back into it for Hollow Knight <clears throat> and stuff like that. I'm just going through the whole thing, you know. The whole cutscene. This is sped up, but <clears throat> I decided to keep it normal pace for the Morris cutscene because that was hilarious. And I believe I did actually mix misclick, but yeah, it was worth it. I got the Stardew Hero trophy. Hmm. Oh, who's complaining? Who's a whiny baby boy? Very entitled. I'm not saying it. The stupid demure thing. Not demure. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally misclick and say, let's settle this the old fashioned way. I wanted to say. Yeah, no, that's price gouging. That's illegal in the US. If you didn't know, his whole like 90% off coupons and the 75% off. Like, what are you, a coward? Why you. <laughs> Pierre! <laughs> Good stuff. You're even weirder than your fresh produce. But, no way either of <laughs> Quantity over quality. Sends him glasses. <laughs> the glasses and everything. And Georgia was never seen again. Except, I do see him later, but that's for something else. And then we just end up skipping up over the next two days. Maybe three. Three. Probably more. It's pretty much boring days. I go mining, yada yada, nothing really happens. My goodness, Jody. You don't really work out if it's a struggle to walk to my house. She's inviting me over for dinner. I end up forgetting about this, and it takes me a long time. <laughs> I think it took me an into almost an entire year. And then I got the ink quest for... Yeah, so I got the magical ink for the wizard. So I can get like the Junimo hut and stuff. Aw, being sad.
Now I got the book. Very helpful. I sh I really need to get a junior mo hat. I still have yet to do that. Mind you, I'm in year three. In that's a whole thing. I'm trying to get way ahead so that I can actually, you know, post and stuff. Um, just the the whole fight between the dwarf and Krobus. Yeah, sorry, I isn't gonna cut it. As I come down the freaking ladder, what are you two doing? Hey, Stoop, let me at him. Come on, wizard. Stop it. <laughs> There's no real reason to be fighting. It's. Yeah. I completely agree with the wizard on this part. I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I'm truly really sorry about fast. That's sweet. And then we're on to day nine. And day ten. And then day eleven. I, there really isn't much. It's like me going to my going to my animals and all of this mail machines and stuff. I get my first level of mastery, and I decided to go with combat because I wanted trinkets, specifically a fairy. So I like go crazy on that, and then twelve and thirteen go by pretty quick. Um, and obviously we got this, the Egg Festival. They did change up the setups for year two, so it is slightly different. I know people have definitely mentioned that before. Um, I'm just chatting with everyone, talking with Kent. I'm trying to make sure that I'm friends with everyone. Talking, making, making sure that I talk to everyone I can. I'm just double checking that I've talked to everyone I can, all that stuff, and then let's get this egg hunt started. And I'm going on my same path that I usually do, but obviously things have shifted around a little bit. I accidentally talked to Abigail, and hmm, I wonder who won. It's me. I got a prize ticket this year. Which actually makes me want to go keep going to make sure that I get prize tickets and get stuff. Because, are you kidding me? Of course. And then I get a cutscene with Linus. Because I'm, I think I'm at 10 hearts with him. Oh. And talking about foraging and stuff. Uh, I could invite him, but I wouldn't because he would actually be mad. He likes being living in the tent. That's one of his things. And because I had gotten everything done, I have the desert festival now. So we're gonna go ahead and head and do that. We're gonna get Willie's challenge, and I have to get. Three sandfish. That was my last one, so doing that. Talks to the scholar. And I'm dumb, so I didn't get it correct. Like the first question, I got correct, because duh. Second, that was spring. Spring, yeah. And I did not know how many steps I had taken, so I just guessed the biggest. That was wrong. So, oops. And then I did this, because Emily gives you an outfit every day of the festival, and it's fun and interesting. And then Sandy... Yikes, sorry, that hurt. Now this will do. There! Yeah. 
I love this outfit though. It's so cute. <laughs> and then just add the forager hat and it's perfect. And then I go down into the mines and start doing the whole challenges and stuff. Everything. I'm just pretty much showing every time that little calico egg in the in the corner gets bigger. I believe today I get to 15. Yeah, I got two eggs there. And then talk to um, Gil, get those eggs, and then learn that I was supposed to talk to the other guy. I can't, my brain is not recalling his name. Um, but I need to talk to him for the quest in the mines. I'm getting in nice food. Tried to get the scorpion carp. It didn't happen. So I just went into the mines. As you do. Just keep going. Just keep going. 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 Down and then we go. And then full refresh and got a little... Oh right, my first trinket. I got the parrot egg here. Which is my first ever trinket. I'm like, oh hey, cool! It makes it so monsters will drop gold every now and then. Which is pretty nice. I don't really... I, I have a tendency to get killed by things, as you can see by my very sad health. <laughs> Food is half effective. Great! I'm going down and just keep going down and dang near died <laughs> because I need healing more than I need anything else because I suck at fighting and I suck at managing my health that is I, I know that which is why I want the fairy also the outfit today mm, not not good <laughs> And I was stuck with it, too, because I think I didn't bring my clothes from the day previous. And then we got more monsters and went down. And just keep on going down. And then ten more eggs and that. I hate... I, it's, I, the paparexes are so thoroughly annoying. <laughs> It's shocker, the last monster slayer goal I have left. And we're going down and down. Keep it going, going down again. Down, down, down. I didn't really do much else that day, so on to the next day. And I actually got the Book of Mysteries, so I decided to stop for a sec and read that real quick. And that's pretty much the most interesting thing that happened on the 18th. So on to the 19th and the 20th. And let's see if there's another skip, probably. Nope, I got another mastery point. I'm looking through them. Uh, I don't get the foraging. I get the farming? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got the farming one because I got the iridium scythe and I finally end up crafting the, crafting the anvil, which is 50 iron bars. Lot. And as you can tell, I now have the fairy. Um, I'm stuck with that skin though, so I'm stuck with Tinkerbell basically. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of. I got a bouquet. I'm going to give it to Leah. And then on the 23rd, I think it's just, what do I do? Yeah. And give the, the raccoon his things. And then I got the carrot seeds. I gave Leah a star, a star drop tea. Yeah, I reached 10 hearts with her. And then I give her a goat cheese. And then I realize I can marry her. So I go and craft the rain totem and then learn it's the flower dance. <laughs> so I can't do that. So we just go through the whole flower dance, doing all that stuff. 
And I like to, yeah, you know, I was just shopping, seeing stuff, and I ended up asking Leah to dance with me because last year I was alone, sitting in the corner being sad. You know, basically Tinkerbells. Now it's fine, it's time to go home. And day 25, and then on to day 26, which it's raining. So we go to the old mariner and buy the mermaid pendant and immediately give it to her. And if you notice, it's 26th, meaning our, our, we're going to get married on the first of summer. I get that caviar in for the 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 bundle, and it's pretty much it. On to day 28, the last day. I pretty much prepare for summer, and that's all I do. I get like 50 starfruit seeds and go into the mines. I hope everyone has a good day, good week, and bye!